Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Daniel Dubois took a knee so that he could stand tall. Which he's standing tall right now with that IBF strap. And Daniel Dubois deserves all the praise in the world. He deserves all the accolades. And he definitely deserves the support of fans for what he's been able to do in his last three fights. Even though in that first of the three, he fought Yusek and ended up losing. But a lot of us, even I felt he got robbed of a, a knockout victory because of the way Yusek fell to the ground, took it to the stupid, and acted like someone hit him in his balls when he didn't get hit in the goddamn balls. But anyway, uh, he was robbed of that fight but put up a good showing. Then he came back, fought Gerald Miller, outweighed by 100 pounds, was able to stop the behemoth. Then he came after that, fought Flip Hergovic. Hergovic hit him with about 30-plus right hands in the first round. Dubois was eating those shits like grapes. Pushed through the adversity and was able to stop Hergovic uh, with the left hand, right hand, and the Manchester kiss, which is the Dubois headbutt, which looks like a big ass, uh, a big potato. Now, that being said, what is it going to take for Dubois to beat AJ? You know, I, I, I'm going to say this. I think AJ wins. But I think for AJ, and see, seeing that AJ has an excellent boxing strategist in Ben Davison, I am sure Ben Davison has said, okay, Forget what Dubois did against Yusik. Forget what he did against. Okay, baby. Forget what he did against Yusik. Forget what he gets, did against Gerald Miller. Forget what he did against Hergovic. We can look at those fights and see that Dubois is strong and powerful, something we've already known. Uh, but we also know that against Gerald Miller, he didn't have the conditioning to really keep up with Dubois. And we also know Dubois is using that head. And then the fight with Hergovic, that was all Dubois headbutts. Now, Dubois' punch resistance did seem to, to have improved in his last three fights. But the fight they're going to focus on is Joe Joyce. Now, when you take a look at Joe Joyce, who's a silver medalist, right? Joe Joyce was able to uh, utilize his two-inch reach advantage to out-jab Daniel Dubois. Now, I'm going to show you something here. Check this out. When you take a look at the Comp Watch punch stats, right? Punch stats. Now, you got to take away a grain of salt because... I'm not so sure the CompuBox punch stats are always accurate. But when you look here at the total punches landed and thrown, you can see for Joyce in the first round, he landed 12, then 11, 19, 15, 11, 15, 18, 9, 13, then the last round 2, and that's where they stopped the fight, where Joe Joyce um, stopped Daniel Dubois. Now, Dubois, he had some success, but we shouldn't be too impressed by these numbers of how he landed in the first round, 8 punches, then the second 20 and 14, 19, 21, 13. The bottom line is we know if anyone's fighting Joe Joyce, you're going to be able to hit him. He's as stiff as a mannequin, and he's an easy goddamn target. But this is where he had the problem. Look at the jabs landed and thrown. Let me expand this for you, okay? Now remember, there was a two-inch reach advantage for Hergovic. I mean, for uh, Joyce. Joyce out-jabbed the man. In the first round, 12, then 9, 16, 12, 10, 10, 14, 6, 7. Then the fight was over. Okay, in the uh, 10th round, landed two. But it was the jabs. And you know, Joe Joyce is powerful. The jabs that were killing Dubois. It wasn't even, if you look here, at the power punches that were landed and thrown. You know, Joyce in the first round didn't land any power punches. Then in the second round was 2, then 3, 3, 1, 5, 4, 13, 6, 0. So what that tells you is the jab is what won the fight for Joyce. Now, let's come back here to reality about Dubois beating AJ. Hold your horses. Let's not take it to the stupid. The jab was the key. Broke that man's goddamn eye. Bust up all that goddamn skeleton, right? Let me tell you something. Anthony Joshua has a wicked jab, but he's got the big right hand too. If, De, if Hergovic could land those jabs, and AJ has a reach advantage over uh, Dubois, if, her, if Joyce could land it, AJ can land it, and AJ's going to land it. But it's not, AJ's not going to use it as a power jab to, to, to jolt Daniel Dubois. He's going to throw it out there with some speed to kind of blind him or to get him to react, and then he's coming with his money punch, the big right hand. I am telling y'all, there's no way in the world Daniel Dubois wins this fight. When you look at him fighting Yusik, Yusik didn't have the reach to out-jab to out him. 
to really cause too many problems unless uh, until Daniel Boss seemed to have lost his focus after they gave Yusik a good goddamn 48 hour period to recover and then continue fighting. That's when the boss seemed to have mentally checked out and it was all downhill from there. When he fought Jarrell Big Baby Miller, he's not the kind of guy who jabs. His punches don't even seem to have much sting on him. He was he was 300 plus pounds, I mean, grossly out of shape. He never stood a chance, okay? Hergovic was able to do some of the business, but Hergovic looked out of shape and looked like he didn't really have time to prepare for the fight. He didn't even get a decent haircut. So three big names, three good names, three good wins, but when he really peeled the layers back, how good were those wins for Daniel DeBoer? And now knowing the one win, the one fight he was in where you had a quality opponent, the, that Joe Joyce that fought DeBoer was a quality Joe Joyce. That was a Joe Joyce that we had beating everybody in the heavyweight division until he ran into Zhang. But to, to look at what a quality opponent who has the reach advantage and, and use a jab, right, what they did to Daniel DeBoer. The last time he faced somebody, he's about to face somebody who's that and more in AJ. So let's not take it to the stupid and just jump on the goddamn Dubois bandwagon and, and, and start out here, start trumpeting that Dubois is going to come out here and, you know, shock the world and pull off the upset against AJ. I'm not putting any money on Dubois. I don't even gamble. But there's only, uh, but Dubois, no, never. Not against AJ. No way. Okay? So that being said, you guys sit back. And y'all ponder over it. Does the bar need? Should we recognize his 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 efforts to to get back into this position? Yeah, man. He obviously was putting some work in because he had every opportunity to quit against Gerald Big Baby Miller. Um, he had every opportunity to quit against Hergovic. Hergovic was just pointed on thick in that that first in those rounds until eventually he just couldn't take it no more. He, he was. I mean, he was putting it on the ball, but the ball just kept firing back. He's coming forward. He's fighting like a Mexican, man. Pressuring him coming back and just not, not worrying about what was coming at him. Taking four or five shots to deliver his one or two. And you just show it just showed that the ball was wanting it more than Hergovic. But with AJ, I'm just telling you, man. I did, you watch, I think Daniel DeBois. His left eye there. If I turn, if I'm jabbing. Left eye. Oh yeah, the right hand, the left eye. You watch AJ's gonna jab that left eye, boom, right hand to the left eye. I wouldn't be surprised if Dubois' left eye swole up again. Same way when Margarita fought Pacquiao and got his eye busted up, and then Cotto came back and fought him, and then bust up Margarita's eye just because it had pre 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 existing injury, and although it, it healed up, it really wasn't a hundred percent, and it was easy for uh, Pacquiao to come out there and kind of irritate. Um, all of that pre-existing scar tissue and everything else. I think it's going to be the same thing with, with AJ because he's going to land on Dubois. One thing about Dubois, he seems to be okay with coming forward and getting hit. I'm telling you, he, he don't have no goddamn Canelo lateral movement, head movement. That that has not improved. I think AJ is going to knock him out and he's going to probably break that goddamn eye. But I do think it was smart for Dubois to take that knee. If Dubois didn't take that knee, Joe Joyce would have ruined his career. He took that knee. People criticized him and ridiculed him, but he needed that. It was a young man, 22, 23 at the time. He needed that time. He needed to take that knee so he can go back, come back and do what he's done in the last few fights. Get himself back into a position. He's a champion now. Had he continued pushing through and not quitting, because, you know, he had to tap out. That shit hurts. People would say, oh, he's a, that shit hurts. You'd quit too. But if you would have stayed in there and kept getting that eye damage, I, I think the boss career would have been over. I really do. So we're gonna see how it goes when he gets in here with uh with AJ. But I'm gonna tell you what by by the, that left fight by round four had was damn near shut against Joyce. And with him fighting AJ, if AJ's landing cleanly, I say by round two you're gonna see some swelling. By round three that should be closed. Matter of fact, I think he won't even make it to round three. I think AJ knocks him out. Once AJ smells blood, he's on you. And AJ's got his confidence back. He's gonna knock out the ball, and it's gonna be an embarrassing knockout. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, I, I just think when you get somebody who can, whose output, 80% of the output is jabs and they're landing over 50% of them, that's a problem. And the bar can't afford to let AJ come out here and do to him what Joe Joyce did because I just think AJ is going to, it's going to be a lot easier for AJ because the damage has already been done. Anyway, keep cool. Glad the bar is back on back on top in a good good spot. I just don't think he gets past AJ. 
But after that, he can still go on to fight another day because he obviously has something special about him, and he's young. Look, man, 10 years from now, as long as DeBar doesn't keep taking unnecessary damage, DeBar will probably be running the heavyweight division. But they got some Eastern Europeans coming up, boy. They got some goddamn 6, 7, 6, 8, 6, 9, 6, 10 guys. Some monsters. And they're going to create problems. But but DeBar's going to be, he's going to be right up there with them. More experience. And he, he'll be the uh, he'll be the guy, they'll be calling old school. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, good luck to DeBar. Nice guy. I make jokes about him. He's a nice guy, good guy, come from a good family. He takes care of his family. Nothing but praises for that guy. I just think... Joe Joy showed the blueprint on how to easily beat the bar. And that's just out jabbing. And I think AJ has the speed and power and then the big right hand to come behind the jab. And AJ, unlike the, unlike Joe Joyce, AJ's going to land power shots. And the bar, I, I give it three rounds, four rounds maybe. But really, as soon as AJ lands a big right hand, the bar's going to be out there, man, in another goddamn world. Y'all keep cool. I'm in the breeze.